Hello everyone. Today I am not here with any grammar topic or any literature chapter. Today I have got a writing skill for you, diary entry. I am sure by now you must have studied how to write a diary. But do you know why should you write a diary? For you it might be just another writing skill which is taught in the school. But basically it has been proven by the psychologists that writing diary is the best way you can vent out your feelings. Suppose you have an incident in your day which has caused grief to you, which has caused you unhappiness and you cannot speak about it to any of your friends. Then what do you do? At that time, diary comes to your rescue. Consider diary as your best friend and write all your feelings in it and keep it safe with you for lifelong. Let's start diary entry along with the format how to write, what points should you remember and at the end of this video I'll also give you an example which might help you understand diary writing skill. Let's start. See what points to remember when we start writing the diary. When you are writing the diary, you are expressing your personal feelings. So the language of the diary has to be in I or we, that is it has to be in the first person. The order of the events that you are giving in your diary has to be as per how they have occurred in that day. You should always provide important details related to people, place, things, incidents that have occurred so that your entire experience sounds complete in itself. Then diary is a platform where you can actually express your true feelings. So you must express your feelings whether happy or sad or angry or devastated, whatever you feel regarding that particular incident, you must write down your feelings completely, properly and accurately and be honest. Now diary is for personal use. So you must always remember to use simple language, simple and informal language, but avoid using slangs. Let's look at the format of diary entry now. The first thing that you have to write is the date which should always come in the left hand side top corner. The date should always be written in word format not in the number format. For example, the date is 28th April 2020. Then you should not write like 28 4 2020. This is not acceptable in English. On the contrast, you must write the date as 28th like in the ordinal form. Then name of the month starting with the capital letter and the year 2020. In the next line, we have to write the day which will also start with a capital letter. And under it, we will write the time. The time has to be in PM, that is night time, because we generally write diaries at night since throughout the day, whatever has happened has to be recorded at night. Now, sometimes the time could be written under the day or it can also be written on the right hand side corner at the top. Both the ways are acceptable. It depends on the school which format it will follow. Under time, you may leave a line and write the salutation as Dear Diary. Since we consider diary as our best friend, we have to write the salutation in this manner. Under Dear Diary, leave a line again if you wish and then the body of the diary starts. When you are writing the diary, you have to be very careful about what tense to use. The tense 
generally is either simple past or present perfect or future. The beginning of the diary body has to start with a general sentence that describes the day or momentary feelings that you have. For example, I am happy or I am sad or I am frustrated or anything like that. Then you start discussing an event or incident and your feeling towards it which has happened in that day. Also, don't forget to write how did that incident impact you either in positive or in negative way and how is it likely to affect your future plans. After that, you must conclude with a final remark. For example, you may write that I will improve myself or things like that. And at the end, you must write your name or your signature. Now, sometimes some schools also may follow to uh, write bye bye or good night diary. That is also acceptable, but there is no such rule. You have to go as per the book that is that presents you the format. After knowing the format of diary entry, let me present a small example in front of you. Just have a look at it. That's all in the session today. My next video will have some questions to practice on diary entry writing skill. Till then, be safe, take good care of yourself and goodbye.